your mind and body messengers. This video will go over neurotransmitters, what they are and how they affect us. We'll talk a bit about two particular neurotransmitters, dopamine and serotonin, and their effects on our wellness. And then we'll end by exploring different ways to begin to balance each of those neurotransmitters. So as we get started, what are neurotransmitters and why are they important? So you can think of neurotransmitters as chemical substances. They're released throughout our body and they affect its overall functioning and our wellness. The two main neurotransmitters that we're gonna cover here in part one are serotonin and dopamine. So let's talk a bit about serotonin first. What are its main functions? It enhances mood, or in other words, it decreases the symptoms of depression. It regulates our appetite and our digestion. It helps us control our impulses or think before we act. And it has a role in our cognitive health, particularly our ability to, to form and store memories. So here are different signs that your serotonin might be imbalanced. You have worry or other symptoms of anxiety or obsessive compulsive disorder. You might have a difficulty sleeping. You might be impulsive, not thinking before you act. And you might notice food cravings for carbs and sugar in particular. So here are some ways to increase your serotonin. Exercise, moving your body, sunlight, getting out in the sun, as simple as that, letting the sun hit your skin, eating foods that are high in omega-3 fatty acids. Some examples are mackerel, cod liver oil, walnuts, sardines. Another way to increase serotonin is to think about or to imagine happy memories. Our mind is so powerful that the act of imagining this positive emotion can help increase the serotonin in your body. And of course, so can supplements. Taking 5-HTP or cod liver oil, which helps in the production of serotonin. How about dopamine? What are its general functions? Again, like serotonin, it enhances mood, decreasing the symptoms of depression. It plays a role in motivation, or it activates our reward system, helping us action on intentions, ideas, wants, causes motivation, really simply. It also activates pleasure. It's otherwise known as the feel-good hormone. When we're feeling good, it's likely dopamine is playing a role. It also plays a role in our attention. The more dopamine we have, the more able we are to pay attention. So here are some signs of a dopamine imbalance. You have an apathy, or really simply what that means is a lack of pleasure. You don't feel pleasure at all. You might feel really flat, blah. Low motivation, very similarly, it's hard to action. Nothing really feels rewarding. You might find yourself not really taking action at all as a result. A lot of times you'll feel mental fatigue or really hard, heavy in your mind, hard to think straight, trouble focusing. You might see thrill or pleasure seeking behaviors. Remember, because dopamine is our feel good hormone, sometimes we so desperately try to activate the feel good through our actions, jumping out of airplanes, doing things that are on the edge of life. Again, trying to get that hit of that feel good hormone. We might even suffer a low sex drive, not really have interest in or energy for any sort of sexual behavior or activity. So what are some ways that we might begin to increase our dopamine? Sunlight, again, similar to getting out, letting the sun hit your skin. Sleep, making sure that you're getting the amount of hours of sleep you need and remembering that sleep is when our body is actually sleeping, not just the amount of time we're spending in our bed, scrolling on our phones. Exercise, sometimes these are connected. The more we are moving our body throughout our day, the more sleep we might find available at nighttime. Meditation is another great way to increase dopamine. Start small, maybe one minute each day. That one minute will help increase your body's dopamine. So will eating foods high in something called tyrosine. Examples of this food are grass-fed meats, pastured eggs, organic dairy, beans, and other legumes. 
And then of course there's supplements. Just like getting that sunlight on your skin stimulates vitamin D, taking a vitamin D supplement, especially if you don't live in a climate where you have sunlight consistently available. Probiotics are very helpful. Dopamine is actually produced all over our body and particularly in our gut. Taking a good probiotic will help your body naturally produce the amount of dopamine it needs. So how can we begin to increase dopamine? We can make a small daily promise by picking one of those activities. Maybe it's making a commitment to get 10 minutes in sunshine or go to bed 10 minutes earlier. The more consistently you are with those actions, the more over time you'll begin to feel the effects of increased serotonin or of increased dopamine, whatever it is that you're lacking. I'd love to hear from you. Do you resonate with any of these symptoms of dopamine or serotonin imbalance? And how is it when you try some of these natural ways to increase production in your body naturally? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below.